Weston Rogers here from G9 Defense. Today we're talking about depth charge technology. Depth charge technology is anything that we make that goes into a target and then opens up. Um, that covers our barrier blind hollow point line as well as our long range hunting line. And those are the two primary offerings we have in the depth charge technology. All depth charge projectiles are created on a Swiss turn machine that allows some precision manufacturing that exceeds the standards of traditional methods of, of making a lead copper jacketed bullet. This allows us to impart some special technologies as well. We have along the side of the bullet, you'll see our patented side geometry. That patented side geometry allows us to run higher velocities while maintaining lower chamber pressures, which allows us to get the bullet there faster. Less time of flight means less time for atmospherics like wind to affect your bullet's flight path. Also having a flatter trajectory projectile makes it easier to take slightly longer shots and still not be holding off of a target. Faster times of flight make shots on movers easier, make um, wind calls easier because there's less time for the atmospherics to affect that bullet during its course of flight. Flatter trajectories also make um, you know, ranging mistakes more forgiving and increases your efficacy um, and decreases your potential margin for error um, because having a you know, range that's off by you know, a few yards um, is going to affect you less when that bullet's flying in there flat and, and quickly. Due to the nature of construction, using Swiss turn machines, we can impart a variety of features on these bullets. One of those being, we can control the depth of the hollow point um, down to a very precise level. And so we can fine tune each hollow point and projectile to match for its purpose and cartridge. We're not just limited to the function of materials, the softness of lead to create the effect on target. This creates a more forgiving band of when it will open up versus not open up or fracture versus not fracture um, because we have so much more control over the technology we impart into the bullet just by the nature of the construction process. One of the first things you'll notice about the long range hunter round is it is a one piece metal hollow point with a machined flute shoved in the tip. The beauty of that tip on the long range hunters is it is actually the mechanism in which we get expansion and the terminal effect from the long range hunter. Without that tip, those rounds won't even open. While the barrier blind hollow point is the Toyota Tacoma of rifle projectiles, it does the same thing every time. It doesn't have the highest BC, but it performs great and is incredibly accurate and gets the job done. The Long Range Hunter is a high BC projectile that has some very unique, never before seen technologies imparted into it. When you look at the Long Range Hunter, what you'll notice is it's a two piece projectile, either two pieces of brass inserted into each other, copper with a brass insert, um, we do different variants there. By design, the Long Range Hunter uses that tip to create its terminal effect. It's very different in construction of the hollow point compared to the barrier blind hollow point. Um, and it actually won't even open without that, that patented tip. That tip works functionally like a forcing cone to drive fluid into the hollow point cavity of the projectile, cause it to hydraulically fracture out. What happens when it hydraulically fractures out? you'll see a roughly 45 degree angle of, of shards of brass moving radially outward or shards of copper. The way that these metals fracture, they are still very sharp. And it's like you have a cone of sharp cutting angles like scattered broadheads throughout this 45 degree cone of hydraulic fracture. What that does is deliver a significant hydraulic force on target and the base of the projectile keeps on moving through. And so in effect, you have this archery type wounding that doesn't have a lot of thrombin release to cause any quick co coagulation. And you also have the base of the projectile going through to the other side and generally exiting out the other side of the animal. What we see is very quick and effective kills on game. A lot of people say, we don't want shards or fragments going everywhere in the game animal that we're shooting. This is different. It's not like a lead copper jacketed bullet where you're getting lead and things you don't want in your meat. Um, also, when it's hydraulically fracturing, it's not vaporizing the same way lead does. You know how when you like, they get that classic kill shot on a deer or whatever, you see that, that smoke that comes out the other side, right? Like it looks like steam from, you know, that fresh lung shot. It happens on hot days too, and it's not steam. It's that puff of white is, is vaporized lead. And, and you can see that um, using lead test strips on the hide of the opposite side of the animal where that, that cloud has been. When our, when our projectiles hydraulically fracture, you're getting these sharp cutting pieces, but you're not getting 
meat damage. Depth charge projectiles feature our patented side geometry. This allows us to have higher muzzle velocities with lower chamber pressures. What this means for you is a flatter shooting round that has less time in the air for you know, wind to push it off target, other atmospheric effects, um, makes you a more capable shooter. All depth charge technology is also barrier blind due to the strength of copper or brass. The barrier blind hollow point is one of the most effective and versatile rounds for law enforcement or home defense, also hunting. And it derives that property from its construction. Being a solid copper projectile with a nice big hollow point means um, as it goes through an object like a windshield, car door, heavy bone, the integrity of the projectile is still held together. By not deforming when it goes through those barriers, it tracks true and straight and hits your intended target with the intended effect on target.